What's going on guys? My name is Catan Blunders and I'm coming back to you guys with another Catan gameplay. Alright, so it looks like I got the second placement on this board here today. And we'll take a quick peek at what's going on. Wow, it's looking pretty weird, honestly. The wood is really bad with the two threes, eleven and the two. So, and the wood brick also doesn't look too good, so I think it'll be hard to do the road building game if you wanted to do that. Uh, definitely some good ore and wheat spots, absolutely. So, it's looking like ore wheat sheep is going to be the strong strategy for this board. Alright, so red takes the 9, 5, 10 to start off with. Interesting. Yeah, I do think it's a little bit tricky, honestly, on this board here. Um, but yeah, I think there's a few options I should consider. Definitely, first off, getting the strong ore, I think, would be pretty darn good. Just because I feel like I should be able to get a decent wheat spot on the way back. So I do think that the 643 up there looks pretty darn good, but I was also looking at something like the 6510 here, or like the 6910, or the 8510 all look pretty good. But I feel like at least one of these decent wheat spots should be available. Like even if I settle here on the 643 and I get like the 810 or the 84, I'd be happy with that, and because I'd get the extra uh, ore spot along with that. So I think I'm pretty confident with this 6, uh, 4, 3 and point towards both of these harbors. But, of course, let me know down in the comments if you guys disagree. Alright, so blue takes the 6, 9, 10, the double wheat with the sheep. All right, and then green takes the 8-5-10 to start off with. And combining it with the 4-3-11. Interesting. So I think that's fairly good for them. They get on at least one of every re resource. And they got some decent rolls. Now going here for blue, they're kind of looking for ore. Damn, okay. I was just about to say they're looking for ore and they're looking for wood and wheat. They decide on the 6-2 though, which is interesting. I was actually thinking for my first road here to point it up here to the 6-2, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> okay guys, I got a few options here, I think. Although, like, if I take the 6-5-11, I have no wheat, that's the worst thing. I th still think I should consider it, but I do think I ultimately am going to go with this 8-10 here. Um, I'll miss out on brick, but... Uh, Brick has some decent rolls with the two fives, so if there's a couple fives that get rolled, then hopefully we can get a decent trade for some Brick. But I'm really leaning to this just to get the other really good wheat spot, and also to get an extra ore on top of it. We got a, a few port options as well. You know what, I'm gonna say screw it and take a risk here, point this road to the 8-4, just in case uh, red doesn't take it because I think they very well could take something like the 8-3 here Just so they get wood and wheat Okay, interesting they go with the 6-3-12 I guess because they already got a sp uh, spot on a five brick so They figured may as well go here instead. Okay. Well, I, I don't mind that at all actually I got some decent expansion spots, but I'm the only downside for me is brick this game, big time. So yeah, we'll just hope for the best here. All right, we are extremely close to an early city here. Which would be pretty darn good, but of course it would make me kind of the target. Wow, okay, well there we go, guys. <laughs> early city, here we come. I think I'd want to do the 643 before the 810. Uh, I get the extra ore here, but the 810 honestly looks pretty good too. Also, extra wood if we can roll a three. So I think I like the city here slightly more. We built this city. Ah. 
All right, first seven gets rolled here by blue, and they cannot steal from me since I have no cards. Okay, over here on the 10 ore it comes. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna trade them. Wow, okay, they just pass with eight cards in hand rather than like buying a dev card. Pretty sure they could have done that. So that's extremely risky for blue. I would have just bought the dev card in blue's situation there. Uh, nice that we get a couple wood here. Maybe we can trade someone for brick. I'd be happy to just do a one for one. Okay, no trading. So we will pass then. Six, all right, I'll take it. A couple ore in hand. So right now I think I'm really looking to get on the three for one port. Oh, big city there from blue. Yeah, with the six roll that gave that to them. Fair enough. I feel like the three for one port is gonna be definitely the best for me right now in terms of flexibility. And then after that, I could maybe consider settling on the 8-4, or building a road here to the 8-4 and then going from there. Damn, dude, another 6, so we're close to another city here. If we would be lucky enough to roll an 8. Damn, okay, they pull off a ore for wheat trade. Red. I think they're just gonna go for a dev card. I don't think they have enough for a city in hand, but I could be wrong. Or I think they're actually trying to settle here on the 912. Oh, okay. Just an extra road. Okay, they want the three for one port. Interesting. All right, then. Oh, damn. What a roll. Holy. All right, before that, we're going to once again ask for brick. For wood. No, no go. All right, let's just city up and pass then. We built this city. All right, a four, I will take it. All right, blue builds road here out to the sheep port. Damn, a big three there. Okay, so red and green both have some wood as well. All right, there's a dev card from green. Okay, they go for two dev cards, interesting. Green tef definitely could be dangerous if they're able to settle on the five, six, 11 here and get this three for one port. I think they would have a pretty good setup. All right, here's a seven from red. And it comes over here to the six. Okay, they take a sheep from me. I'd rather that than an ore, I guess. Damn, and of course a six gets rolled there. Well, that's too bad. Really looking for a brick. I know, I'm very desperate for one right now. Okay, you know what, guys? I could do a four for one for wheat and buy a dev card, but three is my only wood roll. So we're gonna have to rely on that getting rolled again if we want more wood. So I feel like it's in my better interest just to pass here and hope to get something that we can build a road with in the near future here. But of course now we are at um, eight cards, so it possibly could have been better just to say screw it and buy the dev card. Okay, there's a dev card for blue now. <laughs> Two dev cards for blue, okay. So it's looking like we're gonna have a battle here for our largest army. Damn, eight is a really good roll. So I guess I'll buy the dev card here for sure now. Ooh, damn, that's a really good roll as well. What do we got? Oh, damn, what? What are these ridiculous rolls? Holy. Okay, guys, I don't have any wood, or sorry, I don't think anyone has any brick out there, so I'm just not even gonna bother offering that. I'm gonna just go ham on the dev cards here. That's my best option for sure. I'll just buy three. 
because why the hell not? Okay, we get a knight, a victory point, and another knight. Okay, so we very well could gun for the lar largest army as well, even though both of these dudes both have uh, two dev cards in hand. Damn, okay. Another three there. So, I guess we can four for one my wood away for a brick to get that road finally going for me. Seven for green, and they also have to discard. Yeah, I figured I was going to be targeted. Wow, they snipe the wheat out of my hand. It's kind of unfortunate. And they gun for another dev card. Okay, then. Alright, there's a four. I'll take it. Uh, definitely going to play the knight before I roll on this turn here. I think I'll... Hmm... I'm not too sure who has what right now, so I'll just say screw it and play it. I think I'll rob blue, just because blue is looking pretty good with their city and two dev cards in hand. It's a extra sheep. Okay, then. Not the best. Hey, <laughs> at least I blocked the nine, though. I'll take that big time. Okay, we're definitely just four for one here and building a road. Yeah, this three for one port is going to be super helpful once I can get it. So that's really my big focus at the moment here. Or getting more dev cards as well could be really good for me. Yeah, back here comes the uh, robber. Oh, damn, there's some brick for these guys. Four, okay. Damn, and another four. Wow, okay. So right now, I bo I know that both uh, green and red have a brick in hand. So, in my turn here, I think I'm likely to steal from green, just because I know my chances are probably going to be better. Yeah, here's some roads from red. So, that means their brick is gone. So I'm definitely going to uh, steal from green here, in the hopes to get a brick. Okay, red building out this way. I had a slight uh, panic attack that they would build three roads out to the 8-4 here. And guys, I know I gotta... I'm gonna roll before I play the knight here. Okay, four, it's fine. Okay, definitely gunning for green. All right. Green it is. Yeah, sorry, bud. I typically would steal from probably blue here but I'm really gunning for this uh, brick. Oh, damn. Okay, in that case, we're just gonna go for another dev card here. We'll four for one my sheep for a, uh, a wheat. Okay, yeah, we got two. Damn, that was too bad. Well, I guess this means I get largest army then, yeah? So that is actually pretty good. But still, I think... Aw, oh, damn, they snipe the wood from me now. That's not fun. I still think I would have preferred to get the 3-for-1 port there. But I don't know. Largest army is really good. So back at it with my 8s getting rolled here. Seven from red, okay. Well, all they can take is sheep from me. Okay, I think I'll gun for blue now. Even though... Wait, does green still have the brick in hand? Yeah, I'm pretty sure green does still. Okay. I'm sorry, green. I'm still gunning for green's brick. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'll just pass then. Oh yeah, <laughs> roll of course. Damn, should have blocked that 9 there. Also guys, I know I'm quite a bit ahead here, but I'm really not feeling too good about it because I feel like people could feed each other vic or, uh, dev cards in order for someone else to take the largest army from me. So that's my big worry right now. 
Okay, so blue just passes. Probably green is going to have a knight here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, at least they take the sheep, so that's not horrible. Okay, so they do wheat for brick there. Okay, and there's a city for green. Damn, okay, here's a seven. Just don't snipe my ore, please. Yeah, I kind of like how it opens up my wheat spot here. Okay, thankfully they take a sheep. So this way, if eight gets rolled, that's still really good for me. Another five. Damn, dude. All right, time to pass then. Of course, a uh, six is now rolled, so that's unfortunate. Road building from blue. Ah, oh, they're taking my three for one. God damn it, no. Ugh. There I honestly couldn't done anything about that. <laughs> Hello everyone, future Catan Blunders here. Just wanted to stop the video just to say that there actually is one thing I could have done about this in this situation, and that would have been pointing my an extra road right on this six here. That would have basically denied Blue, in general, of taking my spot. I definitely should have been skeptical that Blue had a potential road building card. So it would have been a waste of a road, but it would have blocked out Blue entirely from doing this in this situation. So I really should have considered doing that back then. But still, it was quite unfortunate that I was cut off by Blue since I was waiting so long to try and take that 3 for 1. Nonetheless, I live and learn. Let's get on with the game. I think that was inevitable. Since they got the road building, that allowed them to do that. Still at that one point, I tried to trade for the brick with a green, I think it was. I offered them a really juicy deal, but they said no. Okay, I don't even know what my strategy should be now. I guess... So, the ore port might actually be pretty good. Since I'm on a couple ore spots with a city. And then expanding to the 8-4 instead. That could be our backup plan, I suppose. Damn, okay, so here's another 7. Damn, okay, they finally sniped the ore from me. That sucks. Okay, guys, this is really not looking too good. I think what I pretty much have to do at this point is just stay ahead on uh, the development cards here. And kind of hope for the best because, yes, seven is a good roll, so hoping for the best here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, green is still sitting on two dev cards, so I could just put it on this nine here instead of provoking green to use their knight if they're sitting on more. So I think I like the looks of this, and I think red actually looks pretty scary. Red and blue are looking pretty scary, honestly. You know what, now for, for now, blue, since I blue, I think it's going to be easier for blue to build more cities and whatnot. Wow. Alright, so we get an 8 roll there. Sorry, I think that was just an ad on my uh, background music. If you guys heard that. Hell yeah, a couple 8s in a row, so that's excellent. Nine, okay, that's fine. I like it blocked there. So there's two rolls that are really good for me with the six and the ten. Oh, baby, yes, let's go. Yeah, two dev cards inbound, absolutely. All right, let's go for the two devs here. Oh, Monopoly is excellent. Very good. And I'll take another knight as well to uh, protect myself and to stay ahead on the largest army. And holy shit, dude, that's another six roll. That's insane. Okay, so blue just does a three for one and they pass. Okay, then. Damn, another nine. So I continue to be 
to like where the robber is placed right now. Okay, now red uses a knight to block the six here. Fair enough. Wow, they snipe the sheep from me. Oh my god, and a ten roll? Wow. That's juicy. Oh, I would have done the sheep trade now, of course. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use the knight instead of the monopoly right now. Yeah, I'm still scared of blue the most, I think. Likely gonna be an ore if I steal it from them. Oh no, it's a sheep! That's actually really good. Oh, damn, dude. And a six roll? Holy shit. This game is good to me right now. So I can buy two dev cards, I think, here. Yeah, let's just do that. Well, let's buy one and see what it is first. A knight. Fuck it, man. We're- this is- we're going all in here. Ah, victory point. That's kind of what I was looking for. Another one of those. So, I- I'm pretty sure we got this largest army on lock. I doubt anyone can take it from me. We got a monopoly in our back pocket. Hopefully we can use that to build a quick little road and settle somewhere. Um, yeah, if I'm monopoly for something, but like, the only thing is that I don't have a port, so it's gonna be a little bit more tricky to do a really crazy turn with the monopoly. Alright, so, blue pass is there. A 10 roll, I like that. Oh, here's a monopoly for ore, yeah, I figured. For green, damn, that's gonna be two cities, I think. Holy shit! What a turn there from green. They build a city and buy three dev cards. Yeah, they could have built two cities, but they, yeah, they bought the dev cards instead. Damn, dude. I still got a ways to go to take my largest army, so... I'm not too worried at the current moment, but I gotta keep an eye on things. Wow, okay, now here's a 7 from red. They can't steal from me, though. Alright, there's a dev, or a dev card from red. It's tricky who I should... Yeah, I think I'll definitely use the knight here. I'm going for green now, after that huge turn they had. I guess I'll block the six here, for now. I, I'm sure a knight is going to be used on one of these guys' turns, so it's not going to matter too much, I think. Okay, well, followed by seven for me. I'm not going to block the five brick, just in case I want to use a monopoly on brick, so I think I'll block the ten wheat instead, or the eight wheat. I'll do the eight wheat. Okay, it's another wheat that I steal from him. Damn, a six roll. So glad that I uh, did use it there, but now this six is open again. But yeah, green is definitely going to use a knight on their turn here, so it's just going to come right back on this six. Oh, okay, they're blocking my sheep. Yeah, that's smart, actually. I could Monopoly for sheep then, since I know there's a decent chunk of that out there. Damn, 11. I think we might use it on sheep. It's gonna allow me to buy more dev cards, so I think that's gonna be my plan here. There's only four left in the deck as well. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Oh, an 8 roll. Okay, yeah, we're we're using Monopoly on sheep here for sure. It's going to allow me to buy three dev cards, which is almost the rest of the dev card pile. Oh, road building, I'll take it. And a year of plenty. 
Some good ones there. Wow, those, those were some good pickups for sure. So what do I do? Road building to the 8-4 and to the ore port maybe and settle, settle. Or I can settle and then uh, city up as well. But yeah, here's more knights inbound. Wow, going for uh, blue now, which I do like for sure. I think they were gunning for a resource from them. Well, actually, yeah, blue is very scary if they can get longest road, actually. I didn't even think about that. So this is debatable what to do. Should I just use the knight this turn and keep up the pressure on my knights, or should I hold and use road building or something else? You know what, I'll just roll and hold. Ooh, wow, there's some big brick out there. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna... I'll actually end up using the knight now and try to steal a brick from uh, green. Next turn I'll road build, and then the turn after I'll use the Year of Plenty, I guess. Oh, wow, it's a wood. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, well, I'll pass then. I was really gunning for one of the bricks there. Damn, there's a big 11 for green. Okay, yeah, longest road for blue, but they can't win this turn. Yeah, they're very close, though. Oh my god, are you kidding me? More fives? No. Okay. A road settlement from green. One dev card left in the pile as well. Oh, if they... Okay, they city up there. Holy shit, man. This is a very close end game. We'll see if they... No, they... They're not playing a knight, so... I guess they don't have one, probably. Because I feel like they would have definitely used that just to open that up again. Ten, I'll take it. Oh, red gunning for longest road now. Oh, they don't do it. Okay. They're not able to connect up, I guess. Oh, damn, guys. Okay, I gotta go for this uh, final victory point here. Or whatever that is gonna be. Um, I'll, of course we're gonna road build, yeah. We're gonna use road building for sure, just to open up the, uh, a couple spots here. Then we're gonna buy a dev card and see what it is. So a couple spots here. Alright, final dev card, wow. It's a knight, okay. Yeah, I figured, probably. Wow. All of the dev cards have been purchased this game. You really don't see that all that often, I think. So my... Oh. My big hope is just blue and green don't win. Oh, no, he wins. Oh, no. Damn. Well, GG. Fuck, man. If only red... Stole that longest road there. I, f I figured that they would have done that. Damn, bro. That was a that was a close game. Um, minus 1.9. Not too fun there. Okay, guys. Well, I think... Uh, up until the end, I think I probably should have stolen from blue there. But, I mean, I think it was very, very close. It was very tough for me to tell who to steal from there. And, dude... Blue, I'm straight up telling you, man, if you didn't get that road building card out here, you, I, I don't think you would have been able to win. Because this, you taking this three for one port from me was a real big, uh, was really bad for me. Damn. Look at this, I was robbed by other players 11 times. Yeah, I know. Because I blew up so much in the early game. Ah, damn, dude. Well, GG. Alright, guys. If you enjoyed today's gameplay, please be sure to drop a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. See you guys next time.